Trina Taryn Hoff for coming and helping us with the filming of this. Also, I want to remind you that we have an awesome boot camp being held Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, 9.30 a.m. Come on down and get a killer workout. Uh, you're really going to love it. If you can schedule some time to get away, if you stay home, you know, drop off the kids, come on down. You're really going to enjoy that. Okay, so what we're going to work on this week is wrist escapes. All right? I want to talk to you about how you can get away from someone grabbing you in the wrist. Now, a wrist grab may or may not be potentially violent situation. So we don't want to blast somebody just because they grabbed our wrist, you know. Maybe it's just kind of like a conversation and, you know, they grab your wrist and, you know, maybe it's like a drunken uncle or someone that you don't necessarily want to, you know, take them down, but you also don't want them grabbing on you. So what, what we do with the wrist escape is we always try to go nonviolent first. Uh, you know, you get your wrist gets grabbed, and what you're going to do is you're going to clench the fist of the wrist that gets grabbed. Then you're going to grab over the top, and what you're going to do is using your body weight, you're going to twist your hip and rip away from the grab. Let me show you one more time, I'm going to have Tara come out and grab my wrist. So i got to grab, make a fist, I'll make a fist, and I'm going to grab the top, over the top, and what I want to do is turn my waist and rip away. Also, I can take a step away and then rip. What I can't do is try to rip away with one leg up in the air. So once again, grab over the top, clench the fist, grab the top of the fist, use your hips and your body to rip away. Or take the step and rip away and then you just escape the situation. So, Taryn grabs me, grabs my wrist, and make a fist, grab the top, rip, and run. Alright, he grabs me that way, same thing, same concept applies. Make a fist. Well, the reason why I want to make a fist is I want to tighten up the forearm muscles and the, uh, the muscles around the wrist. I want to clench everything. And so what that will do is that will allow me to have a little play. If I keep my wrist soft like this and I try to pull away, he's not going to go. It's going to kind of stay there. But by clenching my fist, I have more of a stronger base and now I can rip that away. And once again, with just turning the hip. Now if I go, if I go with my hand and I just try to pull arm to arm and he's a stronger guy than I am, this ain't going anywhere. So I have to utilize the hip twist because I want to put my body to work to help me escape. So I twist my hip. Like, I can't escape this by itself. Right? I have to use that body. I have to use my Now, Taryn is now having to fight my all of the momentum and the mass of my body versus his few fingers. He's not going to be able to keep that grip. All right? If it's just hand to hand and I'm just trying to get my arm away, even if I use two hands, I may or may not get out. But if I get away, boom, step, grab, you can take the step, rip and run, or just grab, take the uh, don't take the step, just rip, but using your hip, my whole body goes against it. Your body will be much more effective to fight someone than you're just one limb person. I want to grab my fist, step, pull, or just twist and pull, either way we're, you know, whichever one you need will work fine. Now, I tried, he's really determined on holding on that wrist, maybe he's trying to pull me somewhere. This is a little bit more of a different situation. This may not be the drunken uncle, this might be, you know, this guy's trying to attack me, maybe he's trying to duck me, put me in a car, take me around the corner, the back of the building. I don't want that. So I go for my wrist escape, it doesn't work. Well, when I'm, he's pulling back on my wrist to get me to go somewhere. So he's got some momentum coming his way. So I'm pulling this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my momentum and his momentum 
to eat my palm strike. Boom! And now I get him up. Okay? So let's take a look at that again. So he's got me here. He's held on tight. I try to get away. I try to go non-violent. And he's pulling him in that. He's pulling in that direction, and I'm pulling in this direction. Well, it's kind of like a rubber band effect. Something's got to snap. So I'm going to use all of his energy. His energy is pulling him that way. My energy is pulling me this way. So I'm going to use both momentums into a palm strike. Bang! And then I can rip and run. Great way. I want to use that. I can also use this with the hammer fist. Right? Same thing. He pulled, he's pulling me that way. I'm pulling this way. Come up, hammer fist. Bang! Rip and run. All right? Uh, hit him square on the nose. Anywhere in the face with the hammer fist. Anywhere in the face with the palm strike. We'll, we'll get it done. All right? One more time. Let's take it from this angle. So on the, on the outside, it looks like this. Right? I get grabbed. I pull. He's not letting me go. Here it comes. Bang! My whole body goes into it. Then I can get away. Another variation on this is what I call if he grabs both hands. Grabs both hands, there's not a lot you can do. I can try, still make a fist, bring my hands together, grip and run. Okay? Same concept. Right? Let's turn it this way a second. What I did was I made a fist, I pulled my hands together quickly, and then I still rip and run. That may work. That's a great other way of getting out non-violent. However, he's the terminator here, and I'm trying to get away, and he's not even letting me bring my hands together. He's just super tight on this grip. What I got, I got one of two options. What I'm going to do is what I call, you know, the groin kick. We're going to use that shovel kick, and I'm going to use my real leg, and I'm going to come right up the middle, bang, rip, and run. All right? If he's in close, he's got a tight grip in here, and he won't let go, it's the knee strike to the groin. Bang, rip. And run. We always have to attack the attacker, bang, to get away. Well, once again with the knee, right? He's in tight. I, I can't. I can't get him. Boom! There's the knee. Rip and run, and that will allow me the opportunity to get uh, safe. To get away.